Yes, sir. Another episode in our quest to get Deacon St. John as overpowered as soon as possible. Hi, everyone. Grey Ghost Gamers, and I'm excited to bring you this next chapter where we're going to be attacking that ambush camp in the background. You can see the smoke there, and you can see the icon on the map. That's our next mission. But first, seeing as it's getting late in the day, which is where we left off in the previous episode, uh, we're going to calm things down a bit before we get too crazy and just move the day ahead. Get some sleep, get ourselves organized, and as Deke likes to say, get back at it. Not quite there yet, so one more round. Yeah, Deke, come on. Find the bed. There you oh, go. I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Now, the real beauty about this part of the map, where we are located in this section of the game, is that in order to get all the trust at Wizard Island, we've essentially got go four <laughs> big areas that will contribute to that trust. Now we opened the MMU and we took care of an infestation zone nearby. So that was really awesome. And now we're going to go after the ambush camp. And not that far from here is another infestation zone, which will get us super close to the number of points we need. Now, I'm just swapping out the MG45 for the crossbow because I kind of want a silenced weapon. And the bow is still one of the better ones out there. Since my aim with a gun is absolutely not why you're watching this, <laughs> you're not going to get any firearms tips from good old Grey Ghost Gamers. That is not in the cards. But I will demonstrate how even leaving that MG45 behind is not a concern if you really intend on having it on you because this ambush camp has a marauder heavy who has an mg45 we just have to pry it from his cold dead hands so <laughs> we're just taking a little bit of a wide berth here so we're not in range of the sniper although i gotta tell you now oh, there's wolfie boy they're just everywhere you know, Oregon has a lot of wildlife. You notice that? Especially here in the apocalypse. Well, at least it's not a rabid one. Hold steady, boy. Hold steady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that helps. How about you load it? There we go. Smart. Hold steady. Ugh. Ah. Well, there we go. At least it's a one-shot kill with that thing. Wow! <laughs> I th that broke off! I was so close, it just broke off. <laughs> oh, one more. Get him! Get him! Ah. Alright. Well, he's on his way over there. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. By the time he comes back, I'll be out of range, so... <laughs> Those marauders, I guess they're shooting at freakers or something, but they're really annoying. Okay, let's see if we can get there. I'm trying to... Ah, really? All right, well, let's just check. Well, it's still early. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. A bunch of rapists and murderers. Well, I did say I was better with the crossbow. <laughs> All right, let's just... Uh, the weather's turning here. Okay. 
Apologies if you don't hear me talking a lot while I'm going through these things, because I have a hard time playing and talking. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. Okay, now here's one thing I, I want to try, and I'm pretty sure because I've seen it done in a challenge, so it might work here. Because I know the heavy isn't actually around yet. I think he comes out of that particular, um, the bunker. I'm going to give it a try. Well, it's not going to hurt. I don't know if I'll kill him, but... Yeah, just stand right there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that person closer. Oh. Yeah, that... Oh, maybe? It's... No. <laughs> okay. Yep. You go down. <laughs> Peekaboo. Ah. I, I think the camp's been alerted. I don't know. Okay, time to go loud. Oh, when they're closer, it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, that was a risk. Nope, nope, not the... Just the bandage, just the bandage. Oh, I get so nervous. There you go. <laughs> he does come out of there. Awesome. Uh, okay. I shot a ghost. <laughs> yeah, now I'm booking it because that I know that heavy is like possibly behind me and I'm I'm not sticking around to find out if you can see me or not. I think he's following me, but... I don't want to take that chance. I don't think this is a... optimum position. But I just... Um, can I get the snipe? Nah, you know what? Screw it! Let's go! Take the high ground, Deke. High ground! Oh, well, that really worked well, and uh, I think I'm going to use the same idea. Right there. Just so I don't get flanked. Had it happen on a number of playthroughs before, some test runs. Sometimes they come up the embankment, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Thank you. Let's do this. Murdering son of a bitch. I wasn't sure, but I know I'm watching other uh, gamers. Just I have to aim slightly right. It's not a dead-on thing. Oh. What are you shooting at? Okay.
Alright. Oh, oh. Is that the heavy? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, we're gonna try and get his helmet off. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, I think it can go down this way. Well, there's one more. Eh, before I do. Just line them all up. <laughs> Keeps flip-flopping. It's like a fish. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You're sons of bitch. All right. Well, let's. All yeah. right. Let's see if they got an underground bunker around right here. I bet they do. <laughs> okay. Well, that went a whole lot better than I expected. But here you can see, right there, MG45. So now that uh, I've managed to pick that up, crossbow's out of ammo anyway, so. Oh, I'll take that bandage and that Molotov and another bandage. Love it. First things first, though, I keep forgetting because uh, sometimes when you actually go into the bunker and loot it, then you'll get a craft recipe. Yes. Here it is. And then sometimes when you come back out after you've learned the recipe, then you go out and loot the marauders that you took down. And I found that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they have different items that you can take off them that contribute to oh, your is recipe. Item. All marked up, yeah, and that. So, okay, there we go. Another bunch of XP. And we're getting closer to level one trust. I'm rubbing my hands together in anticipation. Ooh, and a stamina cocktail. I guess they won't be needing it <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. No, they're all gone. Using this little map. Change the weather a little bit because it was a little rainy when we went outside, but I want it to be clear. <laughs> so I just I just reloaded at this point. I made a save save game and then just reloaded it and the weather's cleared up very nicely. Now I think the thing I'm gonna do here is go get the bike and bring it back up here. still real early and I'm definitely thinking yeah no not, yeah no, there you go so with the recipe now I can craft them woohoo love that yeah don't use don't use the health cocktail can't do that but now that we have the crafting recipe and since I like my stamina stats I love having that attribute uh that works out really, really nicely. Now, oddly enough, I, I don't think I'll even really need to use the MG45 in this playthrough. I mean, I'm so close to getting level one at Wizard Island now that for me and the rest of this playthrough is not going to require the MG45. So, for me, it's not going to make much of a difference. However, 
if you're inclined to use it as a more favored weapon of choice, you've actually got ample opportunity to pick up that weapon from the Crater Lake region. And Iron Butte. Two here in Crater Lake at the uh, Spruce Lake Ambush Camp on the far side of the map. And right here. Now, as I mentioned before, we're really close to another... Uh, there, there you go. There's the Rimview Ranch Infestation Zone, which, standing here at the ambush camp, is really close. And just as close, in fact, it's super close to that right there, to the Volcanic Legacy MMU. It's like literally right behind the, the entrance of the mountain, of the tunnel there. So once we get that, then we'll be super close to getting enough points, enough trust points for Wizard Island and be able to purchase the level one weapons that are there, which are the PPSH-41 and the RPD. Excellent, comparable weapons to the MG-45 and the US-556 that I currently have. Definitely worth trading. Hello. Back, huh? Goodbye. <laughs> I think it's definitely worth trading for weapons that you can event that you can actually keep in your locker. These ones that I'm carrying right now, I drop them, I lose them. Okay, let's take care of this. Now there's three nests, and I like to always start the farthest and then run back toward the bike. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And plenty of time, so. We've got a three to clear out. There's one over there in that house. And then in that, I won't call it a house, I call it a shack. But the first one happens to be at the entrance of a horde as well. But I ain't sticking around to find out. No, sir. Why do you think I built up all that stamina for? Just to do this and get the hell out. <laughs> More XP as we... I mean, if I stuck around and just killed more Freakers, I'd probably get even more XP. But uh, that should take care of it. Yeah, there, there it is. It's always, it always gets you close, but no cigar. But I picked up a skill point. I'm just happy to get the hell out of there. Well, that was pretty successful because we've got to get a large number of points from four locations that are relatively close to each other. Now we started off in the southwest at the Spruce Lake Ambush and Spruce Lake MMU, but then coming up here, once you got the Volcanic Legacy MMU, you've got the two infestation zones plus this ambush camp. And as you see, just those six locations bring us incredibly close. Now, we need just a few more points. And other than having to go over here and try and deal with a horde, because there's a massive horde in the game to get those final points to get our trust level up. But if I can avoid it, ooh, frag grenade. If I can avoid it, 
because a horde will take that, that particular horde, the Mount Bailey horde, is 300 freakers. So it's it's not it's not tiny. It's not like of no consequence. I'm likely to use a ton of resources uh, just to get a couple of hundred points. And what I'm going to do after I've finished looting here, and probably by the time I finish looting, it's going to be getting dark. So let's just wrap this up. And then once we get there, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll let you in on the little secret. It's not a big secret. It's not, it's not like it's earth shattering or anything. Not like earth shattering, like to get to, to get to here way before the game lets you. However, it, it's definitely a resource and ammo saver. So if we get lucky, we might be able to get away with it and not have to take on the horde because two reasons the next thing i want to do is once we've amped deke up with skills and weapons it's time to concentrate on the bike because what you can get in this part of the world is a souped up gas tank i mean the the literally the best gas tank in the game here at crater lake and it's only worth a level one trust at diamond lake so that's definitely something i'm keen on upgrading because once that happens when you're not having to worry about your fuel every single time you ride up into a location i mean uh, you, you've seen if you've been following this series like it's having that gas tank that you get from manny well <laughs> let's just say it ain't worth much and it's kind of uh, it's one of those offsets where you know there's there's gas everywhere. It's it's not a resource that you have to really hunt that hard to get. It's just something that's top of mind in your gameplay early on that you're always kind of thinking about as opposed to concentrating maybe on your tactics or how you want to approach an ambush camp or an infestation zone. Yeah, it's time. It's time to go to Betty Bye. Sun's getting low. Sun's getting low. Well, it's not that low. But regardless, when it gets dark, there's just way more freakers. And me playing on Survival 2 with this playthrough, I do not want to be out past nighttime at all. Just, it's not worth it. If you can avoid it. Pretty crazy that we started off the day by dropping the MG45 to use the crossbow only to reacquire the MG45 when we defeated this ambush camp. Because there it is, there's the crossbow. I don't ever have to worry about losing that because it'll always reappear in the locker. The MG45 I'm carrying and the US 556, those are different things. Only because we're stuck with them on our back. We can't ever oh, trade them for anything in the locker, as you saw before. It doesn't trade with the locker, it just drops to the ground. So when I went for the crossbow, the MG45 that I was carrying just bloop, onto the ground. Let's go. If it's there, when I come back, it's there. But, you know, that's those are, those are kind of things that short term, right now you can head back into the Cascades and deal with a lot of crap just with just these two weapons. Of course, the whole point of doing all this work to get the trust level to one at Wizard Island is to cash in and be able to get weapons that we can permanently have in our locker. That's really the big main takeaway from this. 
Okay. We're up in Adam. Early start. Days reset, but... Aha, that's right. Two skill points. We're getting close. I can feel it. Okay, so no choice there. Just get that thing out of the way. And then, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about meat right now. I definitely want to cool down the stamina refresh as quickly as possible. It's all about getting things as quickly as possible. And we are now essentially one skill point away from carry that weight. Very excited about that too. We're progressing and we haven't even started the main game yet. This is all happening prior to saving Boozer's arm pretty much. <laughs> I don't know how much of a good friend Deke is to Boozer at this point, leaving him with his burnt arm, but so be it. We have things to do. That's all for his benefit anyway, eventually. Because once we get back to the Cascades, it's going to be a romp in good time. Okay. Okay. The last little bit of trust points that we can get are either the Horde or one other thing. And as I mentioned, dealing with the Horde will consume a ton of resources. So that is literally not something that's going to be my first choice. But there is something in the game that we can go after that will help us cross the finish line with those trust points for Wizard Island. Would you like me to drop a hint? Okay, it has nothing to do with hordes. It has nothing to do with infestation zones. And when you catch a glimpse, anytime you go to the map, you see those infestation zones with the crows. Yeah, they don't do nothing for you. So there's only one thing left to do. And I'm heading, I'm using, I'm going through Wizard Island. I'm using a shortcut. Because off in the distance there, at the rim, at the top rim of this lake, of these mountains surrounding this lake, is one of those places where we can fill in the final points. I know, it's so cryptic, right? Just come out and say it. What are you doing? Trying to build it up. I mean, you're watching anyway. Survivors, people. Survivors. Since we visited Wizard Island, we're driving right through it. So if you haven't done it before, always visit the camp. So that when you do come across survivors, you have an option to send them to the camps that you visited. Wee! <laughs> I uh, sorry, I, I I just this guy this guy is no fun. He's no fun, but she's a she's a barrel of laughs. That girl. Yeah. So there are two places on this side of the map where we can search for and hopefully have survivors spawn in. So just as we can see, 300 points, just a small 300 points away. And there are two particular places I'm going to be looking for the survivors to be at. Now, sometimes they're in cars and sometimes they're being held hostage. In this particular case, yeah, I've got totally loaded up here. So I don't want to waste all this on a horde here just to get these last points because all those are going to be used for the next phase in getting Deke's bikes 
gas tank up to snuff to the point where we're not going to worry about it. Okay, here's the mission. We're looking for a hostage. <laughs> well, we're the rescuers. We're not, we're not the hostage taker. We're the rescuers. So we're here to do our good deed, to be the Samaritan of the day. And two particular places on this side is right there at that cliff edge. But nothing right now. And I heard that wolf. I heard him. Is he coming? I'm just wondering. But yeah, right there at the edge where the broken, literally the broken road is, can spawn, oh, there he is. They spawn in a hostage situation with a marauder. But now I've got to deal with the wolf again. <laughs> well, this time I don't have a crossbow to shoot him between the eyes, but... Oh, what? <sighs> Let's see, do I want to burn him? <laughs> no. Maybe I can get back to the bike. <laughs> I'm always thinking about that too. Just to get back to the bike and get out of here. Oh, he got fed up with me. All right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, that was a bust. But not too far along the road. Oh, I like those question marks. But sometimes it doesn't... Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work too well. Because they're just... I think they're just marauders. Yeah, not interested. And I also got to watch out for those crows. All right, made it out of there. All right, even though we're not that far from Wizard Island, we've probably spent a lot of fuel. Fortunately, just up ahead is a encampment where we can refuel the bike. Fuel can. And more importantly, the second location for our Hostage crisis. <laughs> Good. And it's just up there, very close to this encampment. Watch a murderers and vagrants. We just as soon shoot you as look at you. There you go. That's our opportunity, Deke. Go get them. Save the day. Okay, here we go. There they are. Oh, there's one right there. There's our hostage. Oh there we go. All I need to do is survive this. You. I think that's it. Yeah, you do got to help, help him, Deke. Help! I need help! Over here! I'm here! Help me! Let me get you out of there. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Oh, I know you'll go. Because I'm going to be following you. That's right, buddy. 
There you go. Look, head to Crater Lake. There's a militia camp. Boom, baby. Gotta find Colonel Garrett. Boom. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run. Might be useful. Okay, big sigh of relief. Didn't have to deal with a horde. Instead, we lucked out on one of the two locations that a hostage will be at. This is, was a little harder because there's more of them. Normally, yeah, at this particular location, there's just more of them. More marauders. And coming out of Wizard Island right there at that entrance. And then you just travel along this road to this location. Unless, of course, you're lucky enough to have the hostage spawn right on the cliff's edge. And in that case, you only have to deal with one. But we have surpassed the points required to get trust level one at Wizard Island. Oh, I can't tell you how glad I did not have to fight a horde. <laughs> Much rather do this. A few ammo shots with this bunch. And if there was only the one marauder holding the hostage at the cliff's edge over there, that would have been one shot. And you pick up those final few points. Just finished looting here. Pretty much got everything. Oh. The weather might have turned bad, but it's not a sad day for Deke. No way at all. Yeah, I think that about does it here. But in case you're wondering, if you decide to make your way over here, <laughs> yes siree, there is a superior metal axe that you can trade up to. If you didn't already find the one earlier. And you can definitely trade for a 100% version if you happen to already have used it. A very handy location for a multitude of reasons. Okay, th this is it. I, I, I'm ready now. I'm ready. Let's get back to Wizard Island. Well, let's avoid those things. Uh-oh. Oh good, okay. When you start hearing those crows caw like that, it just makes me nervous. But it's only when they get really loud that they will attack you. They'll do their dive bomb run and uh, peck you to death. So there, there's the location right there on the edge. Right there. That would be the other spawn in point for a marauder and hostage scenario. I was kind of hoping that would be the first thing, but it just made it more interesting to show you the second location anyway. Two spots. So once you're up there, and you don't have to wait. If you happen to see or bypass that particular camp on your way over to the volcanic MMU, I would take it out. I would take every hostage at this point. There's not too many of them in the region, but those two, one of them will spawn in. And there you go, trust level one. Just a matter of heading over there now, talking to good old D, and trading what we have on our backs for something a little bit more permanent.
Phase two will definitely require the use of those weapons. Oh, she didn't jump out this time. Huh. Fool me once. <laughs> Can't fool her twice. Not too shabby for a little bit of an exploit into a whole other region. Ah, Corporal, man of the hour. You bet your bottom dollar he's the man of the hour. Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? All right. Actually, yeah. Uh, so there we have it. Guy from Long Island. Trust level one. It's kind of hard to miss. Now we can oh, uh, shit, purchase right? it, so right. we will. Yeah. Before shit went down, it's a comparable gun. Called, you need guns? I got guns. Dot com. Get a little better sidearm. Holy shit, that's where I've seen you before. You and of course, the RPD. The, show. Uh, my old man used the to horde killing machine. Back. Actually, they're they're pretty good horde killing machines. Old man had good taste. This, yeah, right, I, did. I would suggest. Country, hitting up out of the way gun show. And I'm going to show you in the next episode. I guess this is about as out of the how useful. Chance. This will actually be early on. And now we also have access to the suppressor, although... <laughs> buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? So we have the submachine gun, we have the machine gun. And now if we just check in the locker... Look at that. Now we actually have something. And we have another sidearm, a little, when we check the stats, it's kind of funny. But I will take the damage any day. And I'm going to show you in a reasonable amount of time how useful this one is compared to this gun. And then, of course, the RPD. Now... Yeah, okay. You can see that we've dropped the US 556 and the MG45. Because I have the weapon in a locker and these two items are not in a locker because they're only level 3 weapons for later, I actually am going to keep the 556. So I'm going to leave that one behind because I got the RPD now. But I'm actually going to keep that one. And you can see that the PPSH-41 is in the locker. The biggest caveat of having the US-556 is that I will not be able to rearm it unless I take it out of a cop car or a tin along the way because I don't have it in the locker. I can't use an MMU, for example, I'd have to come back here to Wizard Island to refill it with ammo. Appreciate you coming out and hanging with me to follow Deke's journey. We will continue another one in episode 6 to beef up his bike and get that gas can from Diamond Lake. In the meantime, like this, share it. And if you feel inclined to leave something in the comments, I'd appreciate that too. Next time, we're hitting the Shamult Community College Horde. Be good to yourself and others you see out there.